we are now in MC Hammer and uh, you know, uh, from time to time I will play with wifey in the car and we're gonna do that today but I will I now want to measure how much energy does it consume when we are playing so let's find out so see time is 9 now and we have 287 kilometers of range so um, let's just start playing okay well this one isn't correct it's been parked in the garage so it's probably about one to two degrees celsius only it's quite cold outside so right 9 287 now let's uh, start the game we have the other game controllers here oh yes uh, so we will start no not this one uh, i'm a noob no no it, it was this one my bad my bad here we want to play buggy racing because um, i want to try some of the new shortcuts all right let's go All right, so we've been playing for three hours now. Yeah, this is great. Um, let's exit the game. So you see now it's five minutes past midnight. I noticed one thing though. Uh, this one, it's a nice. I mean, it's a nice feature, is that we didn't have to keep climate on. Uh, the car understood that we were, we were playing, so it kept climate on for us. That's great, and also the the screen doesn't go blank. But if we look here. 237 kilometers so it means that we spend 50 kilometers let's do the math now so we spend 50 kilometers in three hours right so you take 50 divided by three that's 16.6 something uh, kilometers per hour and then times 150 oops 150 watt hour per kilometer oh, shit, I can't spell today come on there all right and you see that that's 2.5 kilowatt wow <laughs> Okay, I see that it's three degrees Celsius outside, so it's kind of cold, but I've slept uh, in the car before. Okay, but that was with window shades. Though. I don't have window shades now, so, but I, I assume that, uh, you know, I would, if I didn't play games, I would probably spend 1.6 kilowatt for heating up the cabin. Yeah, I know that Model 3 is very inefficient. So I actually assume that the car spends another 700 watts that's pretty high, man. Wait, is the, is the screen hot? No, the screen is not hot. I'm not sure why the consumption was pretty high. Seems like we spent about 700 watts for the game. Uh, the controller, okay, the controller was shaking and we pressed the controller, but I think the controllers didn't really use anything uh, that much. And I, I didn't use the steering wheel this time, so we didn't use the servo for the, whatever, you know, for the steering wheel. So 700 watts, wow, that's quite high. 700 extra power. So it means that if you have 100% and you play down to 20%, you can play the game non-stop for about 24 hours. But of course, in the daytime, you need less energy to heat up the car. So it might be more than 24 hours, maybe it might be 30 hours. But well, it was interesting, but uh, it seems like it, it is kind of thirsty. Maybe I should, you know what I should do? I should test again some other day if I have time. Uh, I should test playing it with HVAC off. We should try to play it in the daytime or whatever, see how much it spends then. But we also have to compare it with uh, when the car is just off. Well, I kind of have the numbers. for If the car is just resting, then it spends almost nothing. You might lose only one, two kilometers over, over a whole day, you know. So, yeah. But anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.